Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus Nord 4 and today I will show you how you can record screen on this device. So to get started you will want to swipe down from the top of your screen like so to bring up your toggles and swipe down once again and this will extend the list of visible toggles. On one of the pages we will find the screen recording toggle. So for me it is right here on the second page. Anyway, once you see this toggle, tap on it. First time around it will ask you for uh, access to audio and some other stuff. So we're just going to select while using the app. And it gives you also an option to choose how to display the, the recording or the notifications in regards to the recording. So things like the time that you have recorded and options to pause or continue recording and some other stuff. Uh, I personally liked it, uh, like it as a floating window as this doesn't actually get in the way of the recording. It's not visible on it, even though it's going to be visible on your screen while you're recording. Afterwards, when you're playing it back, it's not visible there. Well, if you choose the status bar, you will have that like red dot in the corner on your status bar. Now, anyway, click on whichever option you want. And here's the overlay. Like I mentioned, this won't be showing up in the screen recording. And here we have the audio option, which right now it's selected to record the device's audio, but you also can uh, record microphone or both. You have the close option and obviously the record. Once you start recording, it gives you the timer right here. So whatever you'll do right now will be recorded. And there is a bit of a caveat. Uh, some applications like this dog shit right here uh, will block the screen recorder without any kind of permission whatsoever. It just does it out of its own free volition. Uh, and furthermore, I don't want to kind of like hammer this down. I am not logged in, therefore I haven't logged in or haven't agreed to any terms of service of use or any other bullshit that they want to uh, force down your throat. The, you know, the, all the intrusive garbage that they try to claim that uh, we don't gather your data. And furthermore, I'm also going to select uh, that, uh, I'm going to close whatever the, that was, that pop-up there. I, it doesn't matter if you select reject or close it. Uh, it still will have the same exact um, effect. So right now, you can see there is content visible. Now this is only visible through camera because it's pointed at the phone. But if I close this and stop the recording now by clicking on the check mark, this will obviously save the recording and I can view it by going into the photos application let's give it a second and here and here we're gonna select a uh, library and in library you will find a screenshots album now this is also screenshots and screen recordings and obviously this is the screen recording and in a moment you will see the playback of the Netflix application I would do want to point this out this isn't exclusive just to this app. Uh, most streaming platforms will utilize this and it's uh, also utilized by bank applications. This is a good option in terms of your protecting the user's uh, privacy and security uh, but if you ever looked into it Netflix doesn't have any of your private info really that you should really care about. Uh, so having it blocked like it's right now means uh, basically this from Netflix. Um, so when it comes down to bank applications, obviously that's good because if you have some kind of malware on your device, uh, then this feature would just block the malware from being able to see what kind of pins you're using and stuff like that. So you can imagine very good for you and protecting your money. Uh, but this is not protecting your money. This is protecting Netflix money. Uh, and let's be honest, it's done primarily for piracy purposes, most likely. Um, so if, you know, people want to use screen recorder to record videos, uh, the entire shows. But if you're doing that, you're just doing it wrong. And there are much better ways of doing it. And this is just unacceptable because I haven't given Netflix any kind of permission to do anything on the phone. So, yeah. Now, um, with that being said, I do also want to add... If you ever encounter a screen recording with this kind of effect where it's just straight up black screen, uh, just know that there is no option that you can change to turn that option off. It's just baked into the system and you have no access to it, which is just even more infuriating. Uh, so that's why I was going a little bit more in depth into it as once you encounter it, I did want to explain why this happens and also wanted to add that you can't do anything about it. Um, in any case, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.